morning, good morning. It's Tasha. Hope you all have a great morning. Okay, business, bartering, and bluntness. Now, sometimes people mistake women for being a B I T C H, you know? When in reality, she was just being blunt because she's a good business woman. <clears throat> now, let's, you know, dissect that. It's got nothing to do with hurting your feelings just because. I will take me. I'm thinking. I'm thinking of this a friend of mine who just got balled out because she was a, and uh, yeah, and it was a man that said it. Oh, I don't understand you. You're complicated. Yeah, lots of men have told me that. Look at the source. You know. So, um, sorry. And I'm like, yeah, you're going to get that as you grow up, because she's a bit younger than I am. You're going to get that a lot, because you know what you want, your head's strong, you know how to say, you know, so-and-so do this like this, 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 da, 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 da. and so-and-so you do, and you're, you know, you're a great uh, task manager, and people are just going to think you're a B, just because you're headstrong, you know what you want, you know where you're going, so forth and so on, you know, and just like all the comedians say, when men do it, it's assertive, when women do it, you're a bitch, yeah, so... I guess in that case, I'm glad, I'm glad to be one. I'll take, I'll take any compliment, you know? Yeah, because at all times, I know where I'm going. And I say that to prove this point. Okay, so you remember I told you last um, Thursday, Friday, whenever, that uh, I had this great big the, the earring order thing, right? Oh, check these out, guys. Can you see that? Isn't that awesome? Yeah, God gives me a lot of good ideas. Yeah, I've had two people that want to buy these, but I don't have any more beads, and I, this is like the only purple earrings that I made for myself. Anyway, I'll make them some more later as soon as I find these little hangy beads, the little flat ones that are shiny. Anyway, so, and the lady's like, okay, yes, yeah, so I, I, I saw your YouTube video, and da 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 Okay, cool, so you went uh, 10 pair, and then she lowered it to 5 pair, because she realized how much money that was going to be. And I said, I'll make... A barter, I'll barter with you. Barter. You give a service, I give a service, okay? Uh, or something. Exchange, not money. And I said, well, I know where your daughter works, okay? She's still younger than I am, but she's got a daughter who's a box girl or something at um, Whole Foods, which is where this year is my goal to only shop from Whole Foods. Okay, so why don't you just give her the money and I'll send you the list of things that I want and then you can drop them off when you pick up the second half. Yeah, of your earrings set. Yeah, so it's not necessarily always about money, 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 money. Money does not make the world go round. You do. And your choices of what you do with your time, your business, your children, your parents, you know. So it is so wonderful knowing that I'm going to have really uh, naturally grown, non-pesticide food. Yeah. Oh, what is that? 200 bucks or something? Yeah. Um, this month and next month. Yeah. I mean, that's like, see, to you, you might say, yeah, well, so what, Tasha, you go to the store and pick up some food? No, baby. <laughs> that's like four bus rides away from me, <laughs> you know? That would be like, you know, the cart, because they have little tiny carts. I don't know why they have little tiny carts at the a whole food store. But anyway, that would be like um, a pay and pack, pay and save. One of those places you go where you pack your own groceries. You know, they have those huge carts, not normal carts. They have the huge, yeah, that's like two of those twice. Yeah. So I, I can't wait to be eating really good raw vegetation. Oh, it's, it's just wonderful. But yeah, <clears throat> you can't get that if you don't ask for that. And I have been told by a lot of people I don't ask. I pretty much tell. But you know what? Let me say this about that. Uh, I get it. Yeah. Uh, example, you'll see in some of my pictures of, on the Etsy site of a little dish. Dominique, owner of Twist Cafe, right down the street here, Campbell, California. <coughs> Excuse me. 
was setting up the tables for our Christmas party, I told him, can I have that? And he's like, what? This dish? And I'm like, yeah, that would go really great with some of my dark jewelry to take a picture of it on there against the, the porcelain plate. Or it's just this big hors d'oeuvre plate, you know. Uh, and he's like, uh, I said, I'll give you lots of feedback, you know, tell everybody to go to Twist Cafe. They are great. And he's like, um, and I just took it and said, thank you. <laughs> but he knew I took it. I wasn't stealing from him. Yeah, so, you know, being assertive is not being a witch. Being assertive means you know what you want. You're getting it. Yeah. And just like um, Sister Angie was saying, returning, re returning thunder, <clears throat> if you're not there already, why would I go to you? Yes, I realize. Anyway, that's another topic. Anyway, so get what you want. It's not that hard. And all you shy people out there that, that like cling to me, it's not that hard to just ask for what you desire and say no. You know? I say no to people who can't return emails. I say no to people who can't you know, ask me something and then they don't want to do what I told them to do. Hang on. You know, and I have less patience when I tell you to do it three times. Yeah, so all of you out there, all of you younger ones who, you know, keep on asking me, uh, how come you didn't how come, No, that's because you don't know how to reply to an email. Or you don't know how to return a call in a timely manner. I asked you something today and you want to call me back on Friday. In business, that is not acceptable. Now, as friends or whatever, you know, yeah, okay, talk to you ask a question today, I can get back to me on Friday. Okay, whatever, that's fine. But that's friends, that's not business. You want to learn how to operate and function your business properly, you get back to somebody in 24 hours. At least with a, let me get back to you tomorrow, let me think about this. You know, I have to go over this with my business partner, da da da, whatever. You know? Something. But anyway, being assertive is not being rude or disrespectful when somebody tells you the truth about something and you don't want to hear it. Just like me. Example, you know, Chance has given me a lot of great information about myself and I accept that, you know. I accept it, you know, <laughs> a little bit better from older people, you know, who might have experienced a few things <laughs> at past 17. Uh, but nonetheless, you know, you take some good advice, you run with it, you do it. If it works, cool. If it don't work, oh well, you go on to something else. Um, but yeah, it's not being a witch or complicated or whatever, as a lot of men tell me. But you know what? Look at where those five men are that told me that. You think about that too. You know, like Angie said, it, you know, why would I go to you, Tosh, to get a healing and your knees in a brace? Well, my knees in a, in a brace in the process of healing. You know, it's not a, a lifetime thing. And that's the other thing I was telling a couple of you kids about the other day. When somebody constantly harps on the same thing over and over, I hate, I hate Tasha because she's, you know, mean to me and she's so blunt and she's so directed and she told me that, you know, I needed to do da da Yeah, but look at the kids that it worked for. Are you there? How long have you had your business up and running? Are you willing to do whatever it takes? Like you said you were at the beginning of our business relationship because you know what if you're not we just friends we can kick it like that mm -hmm. I'll see you you know Sunday morning after church and that's it and you others I see on a daily basis like all you the guys that got five dollars today you know Justin I'm sorry I know I owe you a lot more than five bucks but <laughs> a little bit of time um, so you know just walk the talk it, it's not that hard it really isn't are you worth your salt or not do business, think about bartering, and when people call you a B or whatever name, you'd be like, yeah, but what you got? You know, I've had this business up and running since 1998, the Angels Network. You know, people say, well, you don't have the, yeah, I do, you just don't pay attention. Go, have you been to my site? Have you seen what I do, what I don't do? Have you been to my five YouTube channels? Uh, probably not, so until you know about me, don't speak my name. Or how the folks say in, in, the, in Oakland, don't let my name come out your mouth. 
you know, keep my name out your mouth. So yeah, do the right thing, buck up, be who you say you are. Cool. And I'm daily working on that too, I'm not perfect. I am healing to be a better Tasha. Let that old, close the door. Let that old scab fall off, you know. Love you so. I love you. I'll be back. Bye.